Right, what's happening guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Oh my goodness, are we in the middle of silly season right now. I apologise that I haven't been able to get a video out to you, but I am absolutely off my feet. We had Goodwood last weekend, and I'm just right in the middle of this BBC Three show, and it's just taking up every single day of my life. So apologies, I've been a bit slower on the content recently. I'm trying my hardest. It is super stressful. I mean, oh, I can't even tell you, like, I, I'm just feeling so overwhelmed with trying to get everything done at the minute, but... I'm moaning, I, I, I apologise, I know that it's just, I, I made my own life difficult for myself, I do realise. So before we get into today's video, which is super exciting because yes, finally, I'm back on two wheels, the weather is wonderful, We're back on a Ducati monster this time. Where else would you want to be when the weather's like this? In really hot leathers on the back of a bike, of course, yeah, obviously. Before we get into today's video, it's been very, very kindly sponsored by Karma. So what is Karma? Karma is an app and a Chrome extension which is constantly using tech behind the scenes to search the web to save you money on all the things you like to buy. So if there is a discount code or a price drop on a product anywhere on the internet, you'll be the first one to know about it because it's going to drop straight into your inbox. I actually use Karma for this video because, you know, obviously if I'm selling the F80 then you know what I need to do? I need to buy more clothes. So I went on to Sense and found that my favourite jumper that I've been looking at for ages was finally back in stock and it told me straight away where to get it from. Check it out. Look at that. You know what that says? Essential. Essential buying, guys. You gotta do it. I've actually been looking at this jumper for weeks, so as soon as I knew that it was back in stock on sense.com, I got sent a lovely little email to my inbox. And there you go. You can find out when anything that you wanna buy is back in stock or it's at a price drop. How easy is that? Remember what your nan said, look after the pennies and the pennies will look after the pounds. So you ask, how do I get this amazing money-saving software on my computer? Well, here you go, guys. Go onto your Google Chrome browser, install the plugin. It only takes just a second. Now, with every site that you go to, you can track items, you can save items that you're interested in, and you can also get notifications via email or text when an item you've saved has come back in stock, goes on sale, or has an active discount. Very handy. Once you've installed the Karma app, you can then go to any of your favourite sites. As you can see here, there's a few lined up, but one of these ones for me is definitely sense.com. This is where I buy a lot of my kind of nice designery type bits because they have great sales on there. And the first thing that it takes me to is a Bao Bao Isamiyaki bag. Very lovely, use these bags all the time and she is actually on sale. So I'm just gonna save that in there. So you can save any of the products that you see and you can have them all in a list here. So I'm just popping that in there. I'll come back to that a little bit later. On my list here, I've got all of those products that I saved down, just lovely waiting for me there. And you can also organize them into multiple wish lists, so you can shop more mindfully and it kind of calms you down with the impulse buys. One other great thing about Karma is that it scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at the checkout automatically. It's a special feature if you use Karma on your computer, so the Chrome extension is a total must, guys. You can earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. There shouldn't be any delay. Honestly, really handy little tool to have, especially if you're buying things repeatedly. Um, great to know when there is little discounts here and there. Every little helps. That's exactly what I always think. I came up with that. Not Tesco. Well, there you have it, guys. That is Karma for you. No need to delay. It is a great little handy tool. It saves you money here, there, and everywhere. And it's always got your back because it's scanning the internet in the background to let you know when your favorite things are coming up on sale. What's not to like? Make sure you download it. I've got the link in my description below and on the screen. And yeah, get your party on with Karma. Save yourself some bucks. Um, so I've run over to the unit to come pick the bike up and as you can see I took the 930 turbo down to Goodwood at the weekend and it decided to rain on the Saturday so she's a little bit covered in shit because as we left it was quite muddy but just coming over to the unit today and it's really crowded in here but look at my F80 the guys at Aspect Detailing came down to give the car a bit of a clean up before I was to sell the car and now I've seen it looking so good I'm actually really upset that I'm letting it go Oh, no, Becky, house, sort your life out. Um, so here we are. We have the beautiful Ducati Monster. I'm gonna just pull the other cars out for the moment, take this out, put the, uh, put the 930 back in here after we've taken this out. It's a little bit of a maneuvering job, but do you know what? We'll get it done. Look how beautiful and shiny it is. I'm gonna put the link to the video. I'm almost embarrassed about the video that they did on this because the interior of it was just disgusting, but still, they did an amazing job on it. I don't think I've seen my wheels this shiny for a very, very long time. Look at the 
exhaust on it as well. I think that's probably the cleanest it's been <laughs> since I've owned it. Oh dear. So James Dean, fresh off a hot weekend at Goodwood. Yes. Oh my God, how Look tired. Look at this day. How tired are we on a scale of one to forever? So it was a motorsport festival, but it felt like a full on festival of festivals. I'm wrecked still, <laughs> are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's so, it's actually sacrilege that somebody's made to make it this nice before I sell it. Like I've just been- Just to make you feel better, isn't it? I feel like I've been hauling half a field around with me for the last six to eight it months. It turned out mint. Isn't it? Yeah, really nice. It looks so good. The car is actually sold now. So I was just, as I say, getting it ready to hand over to new owners. But you'll see very soon where it's going when we make a video on it. That, um, and yeah, the 930 is- The 930 looks like, oh, just a bit wrecked. <laughs> monster anyway now you've got to remember guys that I don't know the most about bikes I just know that I enjoy riding them so the last bike that I actually jumped on was a Ducati uh, I think we were at Silverstone and it was the V4 Panigale which I absolutely loved however it did give me some serious backache by the end of the day when I had a chat with the Ducati guys they said to me they said look try out the monster because it's a much more upright riding position and for sort of driving around or riding around the roads this is actually at times a more comfortable bike. Since I've been looking at bikes, I've been sort of looking at the price points of these things. This is actually just over 10,000 pounds on the road. I mean, obviously once you've got tax and all of that sort of stuff, it probably is pushes it up a little bit more, but for an actual brand new bike, getting yourself out there, this Ducati Monster, I think it's 10,300 something, which is not a bad price, but I did read a few reviews where apparently that was a little bit expensive in comparison to the other competitors in the market. Personally, I'm a Ducati girl. I just love them. I think the heritage of the brand, everything like that, they're just really stylish. I mean, I'm just having a look at the reds here. Like, is that's very much more like a Rosso Corso kind of red as opposed to my almost Mars red. It's called a henna red, but it's very much a more orangey color. But still, we can make it work. I think the two look quite look quite fun when they're together sat in the garage here. Took it out for a ride and one of the main things as I was saying was about the riding position, the fact that this does have quite a high center of gravity. So you do feel like you're quite upright, but to be honest, when you're just sort of flying around, it's really, really comfortable. Now it's 937 cc's. I think from memory it said it was 109 brake horsepower, which for me, as a fairly novice-ish rider, my dad and my boyfriend uh, get terrified every time I go out on a bike anyway. So the fact that I'm out on one of these, they're kind of, uh, they're fairly chill. It's practically a litre bike. I always said, oh yeah, no, I want to get something like a Fireblade or a litre bike or an S1000RR. This actually is really, really good fun to ride. There's a few things that I really like about this. Um, obviously I like the fact that it's got the quick upshift on there and a really minor thing, but something that always points me out to be the novice rider, shall we say. It's got self-canceling indicators. Now that is something that I always end up catching myself out on. I can be going down the road and then realizing I've been signaling left for the last like 25 minutes, but that's just something I think which will come with riding experience. The other thing that I really like about it as well is all of the screen. I remember when I was riding on the V4, the information on the front there, screen, whatever, digi dash, whatever you want to call it, is really clear and precise and you can see exactly what's going on. You don't have to talk, you can toggle through lots of different menus to change all of the settings. I know it's got loads of ABS settings, loads of different grip. You can do like a launch control on it. But you know, for me, as I said, when I make these videos about bikes, I'm just feeling it out. I'm just learning as I go along. The thing that I really like is the fact that it's not massively heavy. I, the one thing that really kind of freaks me out with bikes is like how heavy they are. And I always worry that if I was to lean a little bit too far over or whatever, that I could drop it. 
this is really light i don't feel like that at all and obviously it is a naked bike there's pretty much just engine handlebars no it's no fairings a lot of people were talking about this underbelly fairing because of the gap between the engine and the front wheel again that could be a nice addition but to the untrained eye as myself i think it looks pretty good i like it there's something for just tarting about in every day this is great oh last thing that i did think was the pegs they're really they're quite high normally i'd like them a little bit lower but again minor things the actual overall riding experience of this thing it's super nimble super agile it's pretty quick do you know what i mean like you can fly up through the gears and yeah to be honest as somebody who's just sort of again stepping back into the world of bikes like i i've done rides here and there and done quite a bit of track work like stuff i really like it yeah i think we should get out on the bike now i need to get into my leathers it's so hot today and the thought of squeezing myself into my leathers is um abhorrent at the moment but let's get her out onto the road and go for a little ride okay at least i still fit in it jesus christ um only thing is i ordered some new boots so i don't actually have my new boots with me just yet i've got my old ones so don't look at them don't look at them um right we better get on better get out riding lovely what do you think you James? excited yeah it's not an enduro <laughs> it's far from an enduro my darling yeah so i don't know much about these bear yeah you know what i like motocross bikes and stuff so i never re i never rode a road bike in my really? life yeah ever never what only off-road what do you think of me on them it's cool obviously it just it's just a bit scary <laughs> so like i'm following you around like an a &E, uh, <laughs> don't say that volunteer it, ha it happened once <laughs> all right once right we better get moving all right oh it's hot sure is are you allowed to say that Fuck the rest of the creeps <laughs> yourself I considering how stressed I've been. Have you been stressed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, no, it's been a like my overall view of the bike. Like, it's not the fastest thing I've ridden in the world, but it's just really comfortable and really enjoyable and super easy. As I say, I don't profess to know everything about bikes. I, I know very little. I just know that I love riding them. And the Monster is just super simple, really nice and agile in the corners. I wasn't even pushing it on that much, but just as a bike to just jump on and ride and just be like, oh, and just enjoy the scenery. Like I was looking around and just enjoying the sunset, to be honest, and just having a nice, a nice bloody ride out, guys. Uh, make sure you click the link in my description. Check out Karma. Really, really handy little gizmo. I've used it for loads of my shopping recently, and it's so good, especially when you miss something or something comes back into stock. It's right there with you in your inbox. So other than that, take care. You know, do all that good stuff. Wash your hands, wear your mask. Do we have to do that anymore? Doesn't matter. See you in a bit.